been such a challenging flu and cold season with so many folks unfortunately getting sick. But what if there was a way to boost your energetic immune system? Tonight, we are thrilled to talk on American Trends to Yona Brindis, the founder and owner of Trans Codes, and Jeff Casper, energy worker. Thank you both so much for being with us tonight on America Trends. Let's talk about boosting your energetic immune system. Tell us a little bit about what that is. Hey, Renee, thanks for having Thank us you. on your show. Oh, and it's our pleasure. Yes, yes, this uh, flu season has indeed been, well, been um, really uh, challenging. And it's actually cool that you're asking this question because uh, we discuss this a lot with our clients, how um, uh, physical things can be uh, manipulated with the energy from within without actually uh, necessarily medicating ourselves and so forth. There's, of course, a... a, a limit to as to what we can do and it's just like with most of the alternative healing um, methodologies that it's best to catch it when it comes on so mm -hmm. we explain people that there is something like an, an energetic immune system as well and that goes in um, up and down with our physical immune system. Mm -hmm. So as we begin to feel that our energy levels kind of go low, this is the moment where we uh, not only need to remember, you know, things like good food and sleep and lots of water, but also to go into um, a state of, like, say, self-care, self-love, you know, and really um, uh, uh, remember that uh, the most potent or the most powerful uh, healer is the healer in us and mm -hmm. we got to remember that one you know to really go in and say okay hon you, you looks like you're getting a little sick or it's mm -hmm. coming on you know let's you know take care of yourself you know just like how we would say when a child gets sick you know when we when we go into this place with ourselves where we actually express love and and comfort what what helps us you know to strengthen ourselves from within well, Jeff, let me ask you, how can a person's soul or spirit affect uh, physical manifestations of illness in their body? Well, the spirit of the soul is what kind of registers everything. So you've got the energy of the emotions, the mental and the spiritual. And the spiritual is kind of what registers everything, what our consciousness state is. So as we begin to work on our energetic state or our consciousness level, what begins to happen is our energy gets faster, it begins to vibrate more effectively. And what we are actually doing when we do that is we're beginning to knock loose some of these lower vibratory energies that may be linked to emotionality, illnesses, and so forth. So as you begin to enhance your energetic state, you're actually increasing your overall health, not only physically, but also emotionally, mentally, uh, spiritually, and um, socially. So it is affecting it. And what happens as you can do this, and it's been documented many times, people who meditate a lot or who are into the spiritual path, they typically have more health, they typically have more success, uh, more abundance, and so forth. So it does really affect things. So the work is really um, beneficial. Yona, I know that uh, your program, Transcodes, really helps with boosting people's uh, immune systems and energy overall. Talk about what Transcodes is. You know, it's it, it actually most people who are in the technical world and under, understand Transcodes as something that has to do with video <laughs> streaming. <laughs> Um, but there is a, a reason why I picked this word, and that is uh, that it uh, shows the, the transformational aspect and the code aspect. So what transcode does is that we help people to understand themselves as energetic beings, mm -hmm. not just, um, you know, body, mind, and soul. Most people kind of get this nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, mindfulness. Um, is not really a, a woo-woo word anymore, but uh, to uh, to integrate the energetic view into all of this, which uh, a lot of that is based on new science, you know, uh, uh, quantum mechanics uh, actually are proving now that something like remote healing or distance healing, that this actually works. And so what transcodes does is it, it teaches the mechanics and, and the things involved in energy work to everybody. Uh, so it's not just like for, for the, uh, the you know, audience that mm -hmm. like say is into this and uh, how they can use this for their own self-healing 
um, uh, transformation or, or for their self-healing uh, journey. So trans codes is really uh, the, the, the addressing the translator in us, the, the, the part in us that has to mediate between you know, our five senses, what we see, what we, you know, what we touch, what we hear, what we say uh, and do, but also uh, the, the unseen part, the invisible part, the part that, the, that we describe as energy, as vibration. And so uh, we're, we're creating a bridge here for people to, um, to learn these things, but without going too far into the esoteric, say, you know, it doesn't yeah. really matter if you believe in certain things or not, there are mechanics there that can be shown. Um, that uh, and it's it's more technical than people think it is. Actually, it's like a programming language or like a language that we can learn. But we have to train that mediator in us that can translate the information between what our brain perceives, you know, and then what our heart brain perceives, you know, what what is in in the invisible, in the holographic, so to speak. And that's where the word transcodes comes from. Thank you for explaining that. Now, Jeff, I want to ask you, with our technological world and people, you know, globally connecting and coming together, what does a remote healing session look like in the energy field world? You mean like what do I see or what does the person experience? No, what the session looks like. What the session looks like? Yes. Well, what happens? There? Okay, okay. So what happens there basically is through intention, through the setting up of the intention to go in and actually connect with the person's energy. What happens is you begin to pick up on things, the energy reader or the energy clearer, such as myself or Yona, we begin to pick up on the energetic state and what is in there, what, what's going on with their energy systems, what's going on with their physicality, what's going on with their chakras. And as that kind of comes in, what we can do is either help to clear it out a bit, to speed it up, or begin to give them kind of a roadmap of what is in the way of um, you know their, their ability to enhance their own energetic state, their own spiritual path and their journey and being able to connect more within. So the energetic process is really, it's kind of what you want to talk about, it's the, it's the quantum mechanics aspect of beginning to connect with each other and beginning to see that that is possible. And usually the, the person themselves, they will feel all kinds of things, all kinds of experiences, whether it be from seeing kinds of visions, all kinds of physical sensations, they'll even sometimes completely pass out and not understand why. It's really cool how it happens and what can occur and really what the energy clearing is there for besides helping a person's energy to speed up a bit and begin to feel a new reference point is to give them a roadmap of what they yeah. need to work on next to get their energy even faster or to get themselves even more healthy. Thank you both so much for joining us. Just a pleasure to talk to both of you, Yona Brindis and Jeff Casper. And we've got your information on our screen so folks can get in touch with you. Really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. So you. We're back right after this. Hang on.